Hello everyone, this is Architect for Abletunes. Today we're going to be going over some vocal processing techniques using only the Ableton Live plugins. Right now I've got a session pulled up, I've got a little MIDI chord progression, I've got some hi-hats and a couple little effects. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to solo this up, I'm going to let you take a listen to this instrumental before we dive into some of these vocals. Cool, so that's going to be our instrumental track that we're going to be doing these vocals to. So let's get started. So if you look here, we've got our vocal group. We have our lead vocal. We've got a vocal that's the same lead that I just doubled so that we can do a dry and wet comparison. Then we've got a doubled vocal here that's going to be a stereo left and right, 13 and 14 here. Then we've got a couple background vocals that'll be a left and right and then some sort of accents to kind of fill in the little holes right here. So we're going to start with processing our lead vocal first. What I'm going to do is select this, I'm going to solo it up, and we're going to listen to this dry. I want to go somewhere different tonight. Okay, so what we want to do first is you can hear a little bit of headphone noise in the background, so we're going to put this gate on it. If you're unfamiliar with how to open these plugins, if you go over here, you go to audio effects, you can do gate, which would be right here. Open up a new instance of gate. That's how you're going to get your gate and compressor, multiband dynamics, and EQ, all of these things. So what we're going to do, we've got this instance of gate opened up right here. You can adjust the threshold until you see the audio actually triggering the gate. So what we're going to do there, we're going to set our threshold there. We're going to set our attack to be as fast as possible, the hold at about 10 milliseconds, and then the release at around 50 milliseconds. Our floor is going to be down here. That's going to be a matter of how much noise it lets through the gate. So now that we've got this set up, we'll do 1.5 milliseconds on the look ahead. So let's hit play now and listen with these parameters on this gate. I want to go somewhere different tonight. Notice this little blue mark right here. That's extra audio that we don't need, little breaths and headphone noises. So now that we've got all the extra noises taken out, let's do a little bit of dynamics control. Let's go over here to our compressor. Let's hit our compressor in. I typically like to run about a 4.0 ratio on lead vocals. We'll do attack of about 0.88, and then we'll do about a 217 millisecond release anywhere sometime around 300 just to make sure that it's not going to compress it and then take a really long time to release. So sometime 200, 300 milliseconds is a good starting point. Our dry wet we want all the way up to 100%. We want our makeup gain on and that way anything that it does compress it's going to make up the output so that it's not a lower in volume. And then we want peak selected for what type of compressor we're going to be viewing. So let's take a listen to that. I wanna go somewhere different tonight I want to see okay that sounded nice and smooth now so Abletunes has this stereo vocal overdrive right here which is a really cool chain I'm gonna click on our chain view here so what this does it's got a simple delay an overdrive it's got an EQ 8 that's affecting it and it has a chorus it has a compressor and then on the end of the chain it has a limiter so when I bump this guy on here you can see all of these go into effect here it's been mapped out right here so when you turn up this first macro knob it's going to adjust your boost which is going to give you more more or less of this effect rack. So I'm going to hit this overdrive button on here, bring this down to zero. I'm going to hit play and then I'm going to bring it up slowly so we can listen. I want to go somewhere different tonight. I want to see someplace new and out of sight. Okay, so now you can see how our vocal's really starting to take shape. We've got the simple delay and the overdrive working together. The macro one knob is adjusting the dry wet to here. Then we've got our EQ8 here that is affecting it, taking out some of the lows, taking out some of the highs as well. Next up in our chain, we have our chorus. You can adjust some of the parameters here. Dry and wet if you want a little bit wider. You can do a ratio of the actual rate that the chorus is going to move. And then we have our compressor here, set at a 3.32 over 1 compression ratio. 
ratio. Very quick release and attack to get out any spikes and transients. It's dry wet ratio set to 100%. And then on the end of our chain, we have a limiter. So let's play around with this just a little bit. Let's fine tune some of these parameters. I wanna go somewhere different tonight. I wanna see someplace new and out of sight. Come with me, we can be free, never let me go. Okay, so that's pretty good sounding right there. So now if we look back, we've got our gate, we've got our compressor taking out any peaks from the original audio, then we've got our Ableton stereo vocal overdrive with our simple delay, a little bit of overdrive, EQing this effect, the chorus, compressor, and limiter all in this chain. Join us for part two of this series where we'll be going over the multiband dynamics and some other vocal processing to get your lead to sit just right in the mix. This has been Architect for Ableton. Thank you for listening.